guys glorious afternoon everyone it's um the 12th of march and this is where i'm at right now forgive the clutter that you see in the background but all of these plants as you can see in my previous video have been suffering from some illness that's been spreading i don't know if it's bacterial or fungal but so i talked to mike's cat gardening he said to try um hydrogen peroxide and so a lot of the leaves have already fallen off of this as you can see as well as the flowers but i just want to show you this pepper because this was my entry into the winter indoor gardening this is the pippin's golden honey pepper and as you can see the leaves are wilting now these ones they don't have black spots on them yet but they're still dying either way and so i just threw some peroxide into this cup with it we're gonna see if it does anything and I got one of those um, dish pan bin things from the Dollar Tree. And so I've got that here. And I've got another one of these peppers here. You could see something's going on with this leaf. The um, Yeah. And then if you have a close look at this one, hopefully it'll zoom in. But there's so much yellowing, like just yellow spots all over on my Buena Mulata. And it's dropped practically all of its leaves already like look all the way up the stem those are the leaves that have been falling off and it's cluttered because I just threw everything on the kitchen table when there was already stuff on here I didn't bother to move anything out the way and this is my okra plant the heavy hitter it's got some like water droplets all over it that have been there for a while look you can kind of sort of somewhat see that this Buena Mulata pepper has very lovely shade of purple flowers, but unfortunately they're not going to make it, I don't think, unless a miracle happens. And so, I've got my pepper, my tomatoes, everything is just soaking inside of this liquid. I'm going to completely clean out the both of the hydroponics units. You can see we've got plenty of leaves here. No, I got my son's apple tree right here. I'm hoping for a miracle for this one because poor little guy. He was so excited when he was seeing the stuff grow and then to lose it. Like, I don't know if you could hear how crispy this leaf is. But hopefully... Oh, look at that. There's some fizzing going on right there on the apple tree leaf. And this one was actually in soil and everything else was being grown in water. And then I got this... Um, black beauty eggplant right here and there's no flowers on it at all but it did have some of the leaves that have black spots all over it i took those off and for the most part i think i got the black spotted leaves off but a lot of the leaves from the plants are still shriveled up and so we'll see how it goes hopefully this will do something to help revitalize because like i said yesterday it will be really difficult for me to have been doing this for so long and to just lose everything and like now these yellow spots on here that's from when it was actually hitting the light and i'm gonna actually sanitize the light as well but that's it for now you guys so i guess i'll update you in a few days to show you or if everything dies overnight after I change out the water and wash everything and do all of this, I'll just let you guys know how it went. So, pray for my garden, you guys, please. And have a very blessed rest of your day. Oh, and um, make sure y'all stop by Broke Farmer's video. Well, not by his video. Stop by his channel and congratulate our brother. He got... um. 5,000 subscribers already and thank those of you who actually those of you that have been on my community tab and you went over there during last week when I was asking people to go because he was so close to the mark so thank all of you so much and thank you everyone that went over to Gina's birthday party yesterday all of you are very much appreciated and may the Lord bless each and every one of you have a really blessed rest of your day Bye -bye.